What's up everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman and today we got a full body resistance band home workout. We're hitting lower body, we're hitting core, and we're hitting upper body. Let's get this thing. Okay, for our very first exercise, we won't actually need the band. We're just gonna be going through five exercises long. And the first one we got here is just some slow pace butt kickers, bringing that heel up towards the glute. We got 10, that's five on each side. Ready, and go. Good, getting those arms moving a little bit too. As we bring up the, the blood going through our body, get it pumping, you know what I mean? Um, and then just get our body warmed up a little bit here. I got two more, one on each. And good, now what we're gonna transition into here is some high knees, so nice and slow, bring that knee up towards the chest. We got 10, that's five a piece. Again, ready, and go. Nice and slow, but getting a nice stretch there, feeling the glutes and the hamstrings get stretched. Getting some movement from the core there when we rotate our trunk, the arms are moving and everything. One more on each, and good. We got the lower body. Now it's time to get our core. We got trunk rotations. I like to keep my arms up here. It's just personally a thing that I like to do. So here's what we're gonna be doing here is we're keeping our feet entirely planted. And we're just rotating over to one side and then rotating over to the other. Again, we got five repetitions each side. Ready and go. And this is be good because you'll feel a stretch of the core, the obliques, which is part of the core, uh, middle, and even a little bit of the upper back as well there. This is probably my favorite stretch here. After this, we got two more warm-up exercises, which will be targeting the upper body. One more on each side, and good. Okay, next exercise we got here are some simple arm circles. Let's bring your arms out here, and I just want some decently sized circles. Not fully like large or anything, and not super shallow. Somewhere in between, we got 10, ready and go. And this is gonna help us warm up the rotator cuff, all of our shoulder muscles, the deltoid, the front head, uh, the side, the rear head. Good, five more. Nice and slow under control and you feel your traps get targeted. I had a killer upper body workout yesterday so I'm definitely feeling this in my shoulders right now. Two more. Last one and good to finish off the circuit. We're gonna be doing arm circles but going back the other way. We got 10 again, ready and go. And after this, we're gonna be getting into our very first exercise, which is gonna be some resistance band rows to target that upper back. So after this, four more, three, we'll just grab the resistance band. We're getting right into it, baby. Last one, and good. All right, grabbing the band. Now you might notice that I got this loop-de-loop -loop type of resistance band. It's like, a, it's like an elastic. If you have the one that's just with the handles, don't worry, you can still perform each and every single one of these exercises grab them, um, just try and grab it in a similar place. There's uh, really gonna be no difference. And for those of you guys that I know love to ask, you're always curious, this is Northern Lights brand. I know that's a little bit worn out, but if you wanna get your hands on some, go hit up Northern Lights. I don't have an affiliate code for you guys yet, but that will be something I'm working on in the future. Anyways, let's get into our first exercise. Like I said, the upper back rows. So we're looping the band underneath of our heels feet about shoulder width apart, you're gonna grab the band, and the goal here is, as we're bringing those hands up towards the torso, squeezing with the shoulder blades. We got about 15 repetitions, and we're gonna perform that right now. Ready, and go. Get a nice squeeze at the top there. If it's too easy, simply grab a little bit lower, and increase the tension there. That's one of my favorite parts about these resistance band workouts, or even exercises. You can make them as difficult as you want, and they're so universal and like you can bring them anywhere. You're gonna go on a vacation, they're perfect. Four more, three, two more, last one, get a nice squeeze to the top there, and good. Next we got here, let's turn a little bit more of the upper back. We're also gonna hit the back of the shoulder, rear delt, band pull press. So you're gonna grab your position, you're gonna position your hands on the band, but shoulder width apart. What we're doing here is we're extending the band out, bringing it towards the chest. I'll show you what that looks like over here. Get a nice extension, bring it towards the chest. We've got 12 repetitions. Let's get these nice and slow so the band isn't just slow, under control, use the muscles. Ready and go. Let's get 12 reps here. Get some good work on the upper back, which is important because a lot of people neglect that muscle group 
And if you're somebody that's working at an office, for the most part, you're hunched over on your computer, whether you like to admit it or not. By strengthening your upper back, that's gonna help bring your shoulders back so you don't have too much of that hunch. Two more repetitions. Last one, and beautiful. Now, we're hitting the biceps. So again, what we're gonna be doing here, tossing the band directly into the feet, okay? You can grab this however you want. If you have a uh, band like mine, you can grab it with a neutral grip, meaning your palms are facing inwards, or you can do it with the palms up, whichever so happens to suit you best. So we've got 15 repetitions here, and we're focusing on bringing the thumb up towards the shoulders. Ready, and go. Get a nice squeeze at the top there. Coming down all the way, and you're not just dropping the band either. Five, six, you're controllably bringing it back down. The muscle is still being worked as you return the band back down. Good, five more, four, three more, two, last one, I'm sorry, last one now, and good, terrific. Now we're gonna get the triceps, the back of the arm here. Okay, for our next exercise, we're gonna be getting some overhead tricep extensions, one arm at a time. I had to quickly pause the video to get a lighter band because overhead extensions, this one's pretty tough. You don't want one that's too, too uh, difficult for you. So, to perform this, loop it under your foot, bring the hand up over the head, you're bending down back behind the head, and then extending upwards. And we got eight total repetitions. Ready, and go. And the goal here is to try and keep that elbow tight to the head. The more it flares out, the less effective it becomes for the shoulders, or sorry, the less effective it is for the triceps, and the more you'll be targeting those shoulders. Two more. Last one. And good. Now we're gonna get a switch. Toss it under the other foot there. And we got again, eight repetitions. Popping the band up, and ready, and go. Coming down nice and low on the bottom there. Bringing that hand down nice and low, past the head. Three, always breathing now. Four, five, six, two more. Last one, and good. Now I'm gonna be able to go back to my heavier band. Just that exercise right there is pretty. Top. What we got here are some band push-ups. Now you might not be able to do it with the band. If that's the case, then just perform them regularly. And if you can't even get them regularly, then you can just do push-ups from the knees. So how we do this? You're gonna position your hands on the inside of the band, toss it over your back as such, and you're gonna be performing just regular push-ups here. Okay? So make sure you got them that band positioned decently in your back that doesn't fly over your shoulders. Coming down here, bringing that chest nice and low, and then we're coming back up. Actually, if you rotate this like an eight, as such, it positions itself a little bit better on your back. So we got 12 repetitions here for the push-ups. And remember, if you can't do it with the band, just do it with the body. Okay, 12 reps. Ready, and go. Nine, eight, always breathe up. The band gets a little bit warm, but that's okay. Just keep pushing through it. Three more. Two. Last one. Good work. And my triceps are burning from that last exercise. Okay. Terrific work. Now we're going to be getting into our shoulders here. So popping the band underneath your feet. And what you're going to be doing here, you want to. Get low underneath of it. Actually, I'm gonna grab my lighter one here again. This overhead press is a little bit tough here. So you put your feet on the inside of the band there. And what you're doing here, get it up about this height, is pressing above the head here. Making sure you keep those hands wide at the top. Because once you bring them in, it's targeting the triceps, we wanna hit the shoulders. Again, we got 12 repetitions. Position the band up here. Ready, and go. Coming down nice and low, just below the chin. Always breathing. 
keeping those hands wide at the top. And you're really gonna be able to hit those shoulders there. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And good. Okay. Next exercise we got here. I'm gonna be going back to the heavier one. We gotta hit the obliques. So we're tossing. We're gonna do one on the right and then one on the left. So the first band, first uh, set of this, we're gonna be tossing it underneath the foot. You're gonna grab decently low. And what we're doing here is bending over this way. Now the side of my obliques I'm targeting is the side where there's no resistance. This side of the oblique is pulling that band up. Increase the intensity, just grab a little bit lower. We got eight repetitions here. I want you to hold at the bottom there and then slowly come back. Ready? And go. Good. Holding that there for a second just to squeeze out those obliques. If it's a little bit too difficult, just reduce the, tens the tension on the band by grabbing up a little bit higher on it and then increase the tension. Just grab a little bit lower. Two more. Squeezing that targeting right there. And good. Now we're going to switch. Toss it under the other foot. And we can get a little bit tangled in here. It's even happening in here. Just grab low, grab your intensity or the tension that you'd like to have. And I'm just going to increase this a little bit more. We're going to go for eight repetitions. Remember, we're targeting this side of the obliques. So we're coming over here and then back. We're just going to increase this a little bit more. Eight repetitions. Ready and go. Two. Three. Remember, holding that there for a second. Squeezing those obliques. Three more. Two. Always breathing. That's it. Last one. And good. Now, to finish off our abs, we're actually not going to be using resistance bands for this next exercise. All you need is just your body weight. So, we're going to hit the deck facing upwards. You're going to pop those feet up. What we're doing here is called toe touches. So, feet are together. What we're doing, aiming, touching the toes. Touching the toes. I want your shoulder and your head to tap on the ground at the bottom of each repetition. And we got our 20 repetitions. Ready. And go. Trust me, by the end of this one, your abs are going to be screaming. Try and keep those legs positioned there the whole time. Try not to have them waving around too much. Eight, nine, ten, halfway. Nine more. Eight, seven. Reach for those toes on each repetition. If you can't quick get up there, push it as hard as you can. Five more, let's go. Last one. Good work. Oh my god. You'll definitely notice the burn on your abs there. Alright, we're getting close to the conclusion of this workout here. What we got next is some resistance bands front squats. So position this under both feet, about shoulder width apart. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna grab it low. Pop those elbows underneath, and you're gonna be holding it as such. What we're gonna be doing is coming down, and then firing right back up. We got 20 repetitions. Make sure those feet are about shoulder width apart. Your toes are pointed slightly outwards, not drastically, just slightly. And we got 20. Ready, and go. Come down nice and low, up. Two, get down nice and low. Driving through those heels. Three, four, five, six. After this, we got two more exercises and then we're finished. Nine, 10. You're gonna feel this one in the quads and those glutes. Eight more repetitions. We're almost there. Five more. Hang in there with me. Four, three, two more. Last one, and good. Woo, okay, catch your breath a little bit. Next exercise we got here, start with those hamstrings and a little bit of glutes. We got the Romanian deadlifts. 
for the stiff leg deadlifts, whatever name you prefer. So, as you catch your breath, I'm gonna explain this one here to you. So the same way we have the squat, except the feet don't need to be out at shoulder width. You can bring them in a little bit, have a distance of about 12 inches between each of your feet. We're tossing the band under the arches of our heels, grabbing decently low, decent low. It doesn't need to be too, too low. And what we're doing is bending at the hips, bringing those hands below the knees, and then squeezing and coming back up. That lower back is straight. My butt sticks out as I get closer to the bottom. And then I bring the hips forward and squeeze the glutes. So as you get in the position there, we're gonna be performing 15 repetitions. After this, we got our, our final exercise and it's totally gonna finish us. So the feet, just a bit shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit closer. We're ready to go. 15 repetitions. Ready and go. Coming down nice slowly and then back up. So you notice I got a nice soft bend in those knees there. They're not totally locked out. Bending only the hips. I'm keeping my lower back nice and straight. And my butt is coming out just the slightest as I get closer to the bottom. This will help you with your flexibility. If you're unable to keep those legs slightly bent, but definitely not completely straight. They're definitely not bent either, like fully bent. Eight, halfway. Nine, six more. Five, four, three, don't give up your form on these last few reps. Two more. Always breathing, last one. And good, perfect. And for the lower body finisher of this portion of the workout, we're actually not going to need a resistance band at all. We're going to be doing some jumping, plyometrics, baby. So we're going to be getting here 10 total repetitions of some squat jumps. Just come down nice into a squat and then explosively up. Come back down, explosively up. 10 reps for the finishing exercise. So let's get ready to get this thing here. Collecting your breath, ready, and go. Transitioning fast. There's no downtime. Three, four, five, six. Coming down nice and low. Seven, three more. Two, last one. Start one more. And good. There you guys go. My apologies for being so mentally off. Woo. Finish another one with me. Terrific work. If you want to push your body, try to repeat the video twice. I guess hope you enjoyed the workout, and if you did, then be sure to give it a like down below. And also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me guys, I'll see you in the next video.